In this video I will show you something about calculator use. One button on the calculator, the DMS button. Let me show you where it is. It lives somewhere there between and above. Well, it's, it's above the 8 and the 9 and it looks like that. Maybe zoom out a little bit. And uh, this button here, D and the small circle, M, a whisker, and the letter S. And above the uh, button, there's a second function. It says DEG. It converts from uh, degree, minute and, minute and second format to uh, decimal degrees. But it's also used with time. And this uh, function in the calculator uh, is good either for calculating angles in geometry or calculating time in management and uh, finances. The calculator's functions, the add, subtract, multiply and divide functions work perfectly well with this button. Like I said, it's good for time in hours, minutes, and seconds format, as well as for angles in a circle, degrees, minutes, and seconds format. And the calculator doesn't distinguish, and it doesn't have to, because both of these minutes and minutes are uh, in multiples of 60s, and the seconds and seconds are also handled as multiples of 60s. The only thing that isn't a multiple of 60 is that degrees of in a circle you have 360 degrees in a full circle and you only have 24 hours to make a day but the calculator even after 360 it will just keep on counting and uh, you really don't have to worry about it the calculator's function works perfectly fine with the uh, function printed above the calculator's uh, DMS button you can uh, convert from degree minutes and seconds to decimal degrees or if your numbers are hours minutes and seconds it will convert it to decimal hours and back and forth it's a toggle button alrighty uh, actually let's get a little closer and let's get started on something for example in a triangle you have one 90 degree corner and that's 90 DMS and another angle in the triangle say 23 degrees uh, 17 minutes and 5 seconds you can add them together and you have a grand total of 113 degrees 17 minutes and 5 seconds now if you want to know what the third degree uh, the third angle in the uh, triangle is you can just subtract the all of this from 180 now it's this will be a negative number but just ignore it there 66.71252 degrees and there is some more decimal digits but uh, the calculator can convert it into degrees minutes and seconds with the press of a button so you go second function and you get a little uh, not a check ball but uh, the display uh, indicates that the second function has been pressed and you hit the button so the third angle in the triangle is 66 degrees 42 minutes and 55 seconds and like I said don't worry about that minus because uh, I did the subtraction backwards that's why the result is also backwards but just ignore it for now uh, we can uh, we can use it for uh, multiplication uh, we can multiply time time see three people worked uh, five hours and 25 minutes each how much time did they work all together they worked 16 hours and 15 minutes or uh, you have uh, you have to add the to the total length of your uh, YouTube clips uh, one clip is 0 hour and uh, 7 minutes and 13 seconds 
and another clip is 0 hours uh, 6 minutes and uh, 14 seconds and the last clip is 0 hours 22 minutes and 3 seconds how long are they together there 35 minutes and 30 seconds you create the context with this button and you have to make sense out of the calculator's numbers uh, all the calculator is programmed for is that these two digits here are, uh, are treated in multiples of 60 these two digits here in the minutes uh, group are also traded in multiples of 60 and the rest of it is uh, left over as either degrees or hours so that's how that button is used on the calculator